So on to the next project, which is running boards for the truck. Um, I went with APS I board, which is a six inch wide board. This is uh, one half of what the kit comes with. The reason why I chose this, it's aluminum, so it won't uh, rust. It'll hold the hold its shape and color better than I think a steel board would. I didn't want to go polished because polish tends to lose its uh, shine after a while and get easily scratched, especially if you're going to be stepping on it. So didn't want to do that. So I went with this one. Also chose it because it has this uh, piece up above that'll try to close the gap between the body and the, the running board itself. And it's supposed to sit up close, which is kind of what I want. Um, I don't want it hanging down. So this is what comes in the box. You get two boxes. You have a box with the running boards and a, a box with the hardware. And it really is just a, a simple installation. Um, maybe take an hour if that. So I'll move some of this and get started. So the holes already exist for this. And we're going to use, <clears throat> and they're, they're threaded. So we're going to use one and then further down the frame rail we'll use three, four, and the six. And so really it's just a matter of pulling the, the plug out and it's already threaded. So very simple installation. Like I said, again, we use um, one, three, four, and six. Hang down as low as the uh, the previous set that I installed. So you take the uh, square headed bolt and you just slide them in the channel. You put uh, four in each channel. I've already put two at the other side. And I'll put these guys here, and then we're just going to line it up with the channel first and then the brackets. So they're all lined up. Now I have to uh, figure out where I want the board to sit. And I kind of think I want to line maybe that gap up. We'll see how that lines up back here. That lines up right at the end of the door. That might actually work pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get this thing all situated the way it needs to be and then put on the hardware underneath. All right, at this point, I've gone ahead and gotten all the hardware underneath started. And the trick here is to lightly tighten the front and the back too, so that you can get this adjusted exactly where you want it and then tighten it all up. Once you get it the adjusted perfectly, then go back, tighten the rest of them, and then basically repeat for the other side and you're done. And there's the finished product. I went with spacing it out an inch and a half from the tab of here to the back of here. That way, when you're getting in and out, you have a good amount of room to put your foot and not slip. So now it's just a repeat for the other side and we'll be done. So there it is. Thanks for watching.